Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Human Echo When They Cry in the last episode. Beatrice proved that she is indeed a true witch, or at least on the road to. And now we have this Beatrice here. This will be interesting. Very interesting. Oh, okay. I get it. Beatrice isn't his opponent! It's... She's her... She's his ally! Eva Beatrice is now the opponent! What the hell is he? That's amazing! <laughs> oh yeah! Because he's anti-magic! Oh my gosh! Bottler! All nine digits! In your seat, fake yes. No, you're not his opponent. be such a fucking badass! Yes! Because... <laughs> you don't know anything other than magic!
By the way, I want to know the music of everything I just heard and everything I'm hearing. You know what, from now on I'm just gonna say music and I just want people to tell me the music. Wow! Really? She's able to do that? Testimony that isn't red is worth crap. Isn't worth crap. Ah, oh, fuck. For the ENTIRE TIME! No, you need to! Is a bright red light. I love the way he used that. The next game, the fourth Twilight through the sixth Twilight. Oh, baller! This is what happens when you use magic all willy nilly and you make all this shit happen. Karma. Karma, bitch. You don't get it. Two of whom were her siblings, and one of whom was her husband. She could have easily gained their trust. It's a fact that you don't understand human compassion. Eva could totally pull this off, because two, like, one of which is her husband, one of which is her sister-in-law, and one of which is her brother. But we don't even have to do that because of Devil's Proof. Oh, it's so good to see her be knocked down.
it may be irrational, it may be messed up, but it works! How about them black team? <laughs> Eva Beatrice is making a mistake. She's not slowing down and looking at the problem from another point of view. Butler is hitting her with all of this all at once. And she's not taking a step back and trying to explain it. See, the way that Beatrice was trying to tell her is that you need to be careful the way you need to kill them in a fashion that makes it to where it looks like it, it can be human. Because if you can't explain it with human, or if you can't explain it without human, you have to make it... How am I trying to say this? You're trying to make it seem like it's a possibility that it's magic. But the way you kill so half fucking hazardly, there's no way! There's no way you can do it! This is what fucking karma feels like! Oh yeah, this one will be easy! Yeah, Eva went to the bathroom and they suddenly were murdered. Yeah, right. Of course Eva killed them. There's no way that Eva couldn't have killed them. In fact, Eva was the only one in the fucking room with them. Yeah, she claimed that she went to go use the laboratory. But she can't prove that she did. Well, I mean, the pipes can. But until you see Devil's Free, you know that's that's disgusting. Let's let's move on from that. Yeah, Devil's Proof. Where's your red text now, bitch? Up to this point, we've proven that humans, specifically Eva, can take you, th like, it's the culprit! The fourth of the- wait, didn't we go through those? Music. That's all I'm gonna say. Survivors were barricading the guest house. They didn't have food, but out of concern for the safety, they were at least prepared to go without eating until the next day. However, in the end, three of them went out for food. In which Eva be a tr er, in which Eva followed them and killed them. Kira's thinking that food was unnecessary. That's right! I remember that! I remember getting pissed off at that! She used magic to get them out! I should have fucking seen that! Use the raven! Use the raven! Oh wait, I don't think the raven would work in this situation! I think I'm going a little bit too fast, but, you know...
Right, this isn't something that Carrie would say. Maybe one of the hungry children would go out. Maybe when the adults got really hungry, but not that early. Not exactly like an hour or two after Rosa Maria's death. There's no way that the critical and hard-headed thinker like Carrie would suggest that in a million years. She even says that food isn't that useful. They can go without eating. And yet she wanted to go out. Changing... Mm, that's a weak argument, Bottler. That's a weak argument. Wow. That is a good argument. She probably was thinking of the kids. But you would have you would have to get proof that one of the kids walked up to her and asked. Ah, oh, fuck, she's getting smart. Yeah, endlessly. They know what type of move it would work, but they can't tell him. Schrodinger's cat or the raven? That's what I'm thinking. The cat or the raven could... Sorry, I had to cough. can't ask her to prove that she controlled her, because that's giving in to magic. Every little text in this game is important! Yes, Butler, there is. There has to be a way the Butler can... I don't... I don't think Raven or the Cat can work in this instance.
This is a type of thing that was never brought up. It's fucking impossible to get around it! Before, we could look at the patterns that people have done and base it off of that, but when someone's outright being controlled, there's nothing we can do! Fuck! Come on, Bottler, you have to think of a move! You can't! You can't just resign this one! Cause she's going to use that in the future! Fuck! Beatrice? We're gonna continue this next time, guys, so until then, guys, until then, I'll see you guys then.